Hey there everybody, it's Ken, hope you're doing well. So in my continuing effort to take VPNs back to the proverbial lab to test, test, test them for you, my loyal viewers, I bring you today a review of AirVPN. You may be asking yourself, Ken, what do you look for in a good VPN to judge it, to make sure that it meets the rigorous standards that you set forth for your recommendations? And I've kind of narrowed it down to what I consider the Mount Rushmore of VPN awesomeness, trademark pending. And that comprises of four things. Number one, the ease of use, number two, how solid the security may be, number three, how does it perform, and four, what kind of value are you getting? So all of these things are what I'm looking for in what comprises a good VPN. And no matter what the verdict on AirVPN may be, check the description for links to everything that I talk about today as well as any coupon codes or discounts I have to save you money because saving money is awesome. So where does AirVPN fit the bill? Well, when it comes to number one, the ease of use, I found the app for beginners to be very, very friendly. It's quick to install. Navigating it despite your experience level is pretty solid for somebody like myself or others out there who have a lot of experience with it. I found it to be a little outdated. It does have advanced features. So if you know what you're doing, you can very specifically customize it so you can connect to various servers here and there. And as far as compatibility is concerned, I could not find an OS that it would not operate with. So no worries. There. And just as a matter of testing it to see how it operates, I submitted a ticket to their customer support and within 48 hours I got a question answered. This person that I spoke to was professional, they were polite and understanding, and I also kind of checked to see how they handled other people's questions based upon the reviews to see what their experience was like and I found it to be like and kind. My only criticism is that for somebody who understands the deep technicality of some of the terms, they spoke to me more than somebody who's just getting used to all of this and I would appreciate them being a little bit more user-friendly in the way they communicate with you, the customer. So moving on to security. Where do they fit security-wise? What are the features? What do they have? Well, the encryption is military grade. They've got the 256-bit AES encryption, so you don't have to worry about your security and anonymity there. AirVPN has a network lock that prevents unprotected data from leaving your network when you're not securely connected to a VPN server, and unlike an automatic kill switch, you'll need to activate the network lock before connecting to your server, otherwise it's not going to happen. And most of importantly to me and to others who value security and anonymity, they don't keep any logs. So they have a no log policy. They're not going to keep a record of your browsing activity or your data. And those of you who are familiar with the Great Firewall of China, I did read somewhere that some users were able to configure it, but you're going to need some really savvy technical skills to make it work, and we'll save that for another video. Now on to performance. Is it fast? So when you're looking for a VPN, obviously high-speed connections are where it's at. And if you're not familiar, it's not uncommon when you're connecting to any VPN, no matter how great they are, to experience some type of speed degradation. The positive news with a good VPN is you should not notice this degradation in speed, whereas with other services it may not be the case. AirVPN operates a smaller server network than a lot of their competition, so when I started testing I discovered that even when I connected to a recommended server, my data had to travel halfway across the world to a nearer server, so despite this I was impressed with their speeds. As far as torrenting concerned, you should not have any issues with that. It's really, really good for peer-to-peer -peer connections, and it doesn't limit or throttle the peer-to-peer -peer connections, so you can enjoy top speeds while you torrent. And on the streaming side, Netflix, Hulu, and HBO Go were not an issue. I did have an issue with the BBC iPlayer that detected that I was not within the UK even when I was using a UK server, so keep that in mind if that's important to you. So no matter how easy it is to use, how secure it is, how well it performs, are you really getting a value for your money? And one of the things that I always look for is a free trial or a money back guarantee, some way to be able to test out the service to see what it's like. One of the things that really bummed me out about AirVPN is that they don't have a free trial on any of its services, so if you want to test it out before you subscribe, the best you're going to be able to do is this low cost three day subscription but if you want to get your money back on the low cost three day subscription you got to jump through a serious amount of hoops and there are a number of terms included in the agreement that really make it easy for them to be able to back out of giving you your money back so value wise i don't know about that that's one thing that i found to be a little bit wonky and so in the end, while I found that AirVPN had some merits, overall, the lack of value there really concerned me. And so in consideration of the Mount Rushmore of VPN awesomeness, trademark pending, I'm reluctant to give the nod to AirVPN because the value just really isn't there. The lack of a free trial and the hoops that you need to go to for the three-day subscription, which really isn't enough to test anything out in this busy, busy world we live in, I have my reservations. However, I do have two VPNs that I recommend, 
VPN, depending upon your situation, will depend upon which one of these is better for you, and they are ExpressVPN and NordVPN. And of course, check the description for links to all of them. I will include coupon codes and discounts so we can save you money because saving money is awesome so you can spend it on other things. So when it comes to ExpressVPN, you know I love them. I talk about them all the time and they are simply just the best, like Tina Turner said. It continues to be the fastest. When I go to the lab, the speed tests are always impressive. They're always coming out on top. And when it comes to torrenting and unblocking streaming services, Express is fantastic for that. Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, all of that stuff. And all of that streaming can be done without bandwidth limits. So you don't have to worry about any penalties for downloading or streaming too much, which I know nothing about. They use military-grade encryption, so you are completely safe and anonymous no matter what you're doing online. And they allow you to use their app on up to five different devices simultaneously. And speaking of that app, they have won awards for it. Yes, awards exist for apps like this, and they have won them, which means they are incredibly easy to use. So if you, like I said before, are new to the VPN game, this is a great choice because in addition to that, should you have any hurdles that you come across, their 24 seven live chat support is fantastic. They're some of the best people in the industry. They've got your back and they have a 30 day, no questions asked money back guarantee. So Air VPN, you gotta pay for three days and then jump through some hoops. So if you decide to go with ExpressVPN, I'll include a link in the description, which will of course get you the best deals, promotions, discounts, whatever it is to save you money and get you the best deal possible. So if you're looking for a superior alternative to Air VPN, go with Express. Second top choice would be NordVPN. And while ExpressVPN is a little bit faster, Nord is for the people that have anonymity and security as their top priority. Because Nord has this really cool double VPN feature that if you're familiar with how IP addresses work and their ability to mask the actual location of where the request for information is coming from, you'll know that they usually bounce it to one place. But what Nord does is adds a second place. So you have another layer of security, another layer of protection for whatever you're doing on the internet. It also allows you to use their app on up to six devices so you get one more than Express and just like Express they're easy to use the support is great and for torrenting and unblocking all the streaming sites like Netflix including BBC iPlayer which Air VPN had an issue with NordVPN is a really good choice if you prefer greater anonymity more security and don't mind sacrificing some features like speed and performance to save a few bucks and keep yourself more secure and again check the description for links to everything that I've discussed here I've got coupon codes and discounts to save you money. Save that cash! So please, feel free to take advantage of both of them if you like. So while the news on AirVPN wasn't as great as I would have liked it to have been, ExpressVPN and Nord have your back, so please check them out. Thank you all so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind giving me that old digital pat on the back with a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. Your comments and questions are also greatly appreciated as well. There's nothing more exciting than interacting with people who share the same passions as you. It's really special and cool. Once again, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next video.